This video is for you if you've just had a C-section and you want to learn the first steps of what you need to do to help minimize and prevent issues related to your C-section scar. Not just for now, but for the future as well. And if you're currently experiencing those odd sensations, like maybe it's tingling sensations, numbness, tugging, burning, itching, all of these things, then you're in the perfect place. This is where you need to start. Only start this video if your external incision has healed and that's around four to five days after your cesarean surgery. The only thing that you're gonna need for these gentle movements is a towel. Um, you can lie down on the floor or in the comfort of your own bed. So let's get started with these movements that are part gentle stretching and part indirect C-section scar massage. Now I want you to slowly bring your body down to the floor, nice and gentle, and we're gonna come on to our backside. I want you to take your towel and you're gonna place it on your abdomen. And what I want you to do, we're using this towel just as feedback. It could be a yoga block, it could be something else that's light, um, but it's just visual feedback for you. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna practice some diaphragmatic breaths. I want you to inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose as well. You could do your mouth if you so desire. Now, when you inhale, I want you to take a nice breath through your nose, but your belly expands. A lot of times we are not breathing correctly. Think about taking air in. Our belly, our ribs have to expand to let the air in. So let's practice that. And we're not rushing our breathing. We are fully inhaling, letting that belly rise and fully exhaling, letting that air out as our belly softens. In other words, we're practicing diaphragmatic breathing. And when you do this, I hope you can feel and see with your cloth or your yoga block, whatever it is, that your belly is moving. So inhaling, your belly comes up. On your exhale, your belly is softening. And this is normal breath. This is our relaxation breath. At the same time, you are probably feeling a stretching sensation happening in your abdomen, in around your scar area. This is good, this is what we want. So let's take it up a notch and bring in some more indirect scar massage. I want you to bring your right arm up overhead. How does that feel? Do you feel any pulling? Do you feel tugging anywhere on the right side, left side, top or bottom of your scar? These are just things to take notice of. And when your arm is here, I want you to practice that relaxation breath at the same time. So inhaling. I want you to try and keep that low back to the floor. And now let's bring that arm down. Let's try the other arm, the left arm overhead. Hmm. Does the sensations feel different in your scar area? Do you feel maybe a pulling, tugging, tightness, a stretch on one side compared to the other? These are just observations that we want to make. They're not good, they're not bad. We wanna make these observations because if you are feeling that pulling, uh, that tightness, if you are feeling um, hard, uh, hardness in one area than the other, that's where you're going to want to work the most in making the tissue be able to glide and slide. And that's really important to be practicing what we're doing here today. Now, if you're ready to take it up a little bit, Let's use our legs. I want you to extend your right leg out and take note of how that feels in your body, where you feel the stretch, how that feels in and around your C-section scar area. And let's take the opposite arm. So left arm reaches up. All right, so now we are in full stretch. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Now, we should not feel pain, right? We don't wanna be feeling pain 
If you are, then maybe this is too much and try back again in a couple of days. So when we're in this stretch here, I want you to inhale through your nose. Again, exhaling through your mouth or your nose. Taking your time, nice, deep, diaphragmatic breaths. Let's do two more. The longer that you hang out here, we just did five breaths, but the longer that you hang out here, you're going to feel less of those sensations and it's going to become easier for you. So let's go on the other side. Left leg extends out. And let's bring that right arm up. Now, if you find it really challenging, to bring this arm all the way down to the floor, that's okay, you don't have to. You could always place a yoga block or a foam roller or a bunch of towels here and just rest your arm, right? It doesn't have to be all the way to the floor. Same thing here. Taking note in how you feel. Is this side feel tighter than the other side? If so, you probably want to practice this diaphragmatic or this relaxation breath on this side more than the other side. And when you've done about five breaths, bring your leg and your arm back to where you started. All right, last one in this backline position. I want you to bring both arms up to the sky and let's just open up. How does that feel? This should actually feel really good in your chest and just opening up your body. Let's try that with the right arm extended and the left leg extended down. Hmm, compare this stretch to if I were to open both arms. Again, nice, some nice deep relaxation breaths here. And I place this towel again. Uh, I would suggest that you do this practice in front of a mirror. You know, kind of have a mirror here. Maybe you set up your camera just so you can see. Are you really breathing into that belly? Let's switch legs. Right leg extends out. And let's try the opposite arm. You guys can play around with it. It doesn't have to be, you know, I'm giving you some examples of where your arms can go, where your legs can stretch out. Where do you feel that stretch the most? Where do you feel you need it the most? That's where I want you to be hanging out. Okay, it's time for us now to come up to standing. Guys, I know this seems really basic here, but what we're doing is making sure that our scar tissue heals well. We wanna make sure that it's not going to be adhesed. So what that means is I, I want, we want our tissues to glide and slide, right? Think about like, I'm able to, you know, kind of move this part of my skin. We wanna be able to do that down here eventually when you're ready to touch it. We also want the skin down by your uh, scar to be moving like that. We don't want it to become hard. We don't want it to become lumpy. So yes, we do need to practice these breathing and movements. All right guys, let's practice some of these moves from a standing position. And I want you to take your body back to the wall. So standing straight up against the wall. My feet are about a couple inches away from the wall. You know, my heels do not have to be against the wall. I want you to bring your back of your head right against the wall. All right, so from here, I want you to think about keeping that chest open. Again, practicing our relaxation breath here. Inhale, belly expands, exhale, the belly softens. Now, let's add in an arm. Arm up. Doesn't have to touch the wall. Just practice that relaxation breath here. 
Now, why I really like doing this against the wall is because it helps to open up our front body. And we really got to do that post C-section surgery because I know we are very protective, right? Kind of hunching over, we're protective of our incision and that's okay. If you're not ready to take it against the wall, you know, think about opening up your front body, it's okay. You can step away from the wall and do this the same. I want you to kind of practice this at where you are and where you are comfortable in your body at this current time. So whether you're against the wall or standing straight, practicing that relaxation breath here. Let's change the arm, bring it down. I have my eyes closed because I just feel I can tap into how I'm feeling better without visual stimulus. Where do you feel the stretch more? Or maybe it's not this side. Let's lift the other arm. Ooh, right here. Maybe you might feel some pulling on the opposite side. Let's bring that arm down. Maybe it's less, maybe it's more. So these are all the things that we want to be taking note of. Feeling in our body. Play with those arms. And hang out. And just breathe. That's all I'm asking you to do, is breathe. Not only is this good for your body, your scar, your incision area, but it's also good for your mental health. Okay. Are okay, you guys ready to move the light now? Let's start by stepping forward. Okay, not much, but add in those arms, whether it's both arms at the same time, one arm, where you feel those sensations, where you feel like uh-huh, yeah, my scar can't move as well here. I feel some tugging. I feel like I'm not able to move my arm as well. I feel some resistance. That's where you wanna hang out. Try the other leg. Let's try stepping out to the side. Guys, as I said in the beginning, this is so beneficial for you to helping you decrease the pain, any numbness, any tingling sensations, and any pain that might crop up in the future, right? Remember I talked about adhesions. We don't want to, we don't want our, our, our scar area to become hard. We want it to move. And we want the tissue to be able to glide and slide just like every other tissue in our body. And this is just the beginning. We're gonna be working on connecting with our core muscles, our deep core. And I know a lot of you after having C-section surgery think, oh my gosh, my core is so shot. I need to work out that strength again. Yes, this is, this goes the first step in doing that. And of course, we want to decrease painful intercourse and we just want our scar to overall heal better. We want it to look better. We want it to so I hope you like this and I hope you took something away from this and I want you to practice this five minutes a day. That's all it takes, okay? You can do it when you wake up, you can do it before bed, you can do it in your bed. Now, if you are six weeks or more post your C-section surgery and you're looking for a little more, maybe you thought, mm, this video is okay, but I could probably do some direct C-section scar massage, then I want you to check out this video that I've done is very popular on some techniques that you can start to use either your fingers or some other objects to massage in and around that scar area. Ladies, I wanna thank you so much for joining me here in learning about your post C-section body and how to get back to doing things that you want to do the right way. This is the channel where you're gonna learn how to do that. In the meanwhile, I know you're probably itching to get back to exercise and looking exactly how to do that. How do I do it? When do I do it? What exercises do I start with? How do I work on my core? Oh my gosh, there is not a lot of information out there, which is why I've created my five part exercise after C-section video series. You're gonna find all of them here and you can start with this video, number one, right here in that series. And I've got all of my C-section videos in the playlist here down below. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me. Here's where you're gonna go next.